Well, I'm heading up to the Winn Dixie just for a, a real quick trip. I got to pick up a couple things that I forgot the other day when I was uh, shopping. Thankfully, we got access to some really decent grocery stores nearby. Within about three miles is a Winn-Dixie, and that's my probably my favorite because it's a smaller store, and the parking lot isn't near as big. I don't have to get worry about the crowds and finding a parking spot. There's always something relatively close to the building, even if I, I, if I can't get a disabled uh, handicap or disabled, I don't know what the proper term nowadays, um, parking spot right, right, right in front of the building. Um, there's really no parking spot that's so far away that I'd have trouble getting to the building. Also, um, actually closer, about two miles away from my house, is a Super Walmart. Now, if I've got some things to get, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll do my shopping online using their grocery shopping app, and I'll pick what I need, and I'll I'll go ahead and order it, and pay for it, and pick a time for me to go and pick it up so that I don't even have to worry with the parking or going inside and, and walking too far and getting overly tired or hurting myself if I were to fall or something. So that's an option as well for, for things where uh, I'm looking for something specific, something that only a large store might have. And of course, Walmart is always very competitive price-wise. The other option is the Publix grocery. Publix is a really nice store and they've got some, their store brand is just as good as any major label. Um, so if I buy like bagels or, you know, croutons or anything like that, I'll, I'll buy the Publix store brand, like their aluminum foil, their Ziploc bags, not Ziploc, that's a brand name, but they're, you know, they're seal, resealable storage, food storage bags. I can get those in Publix. Uh, several people have told me that Winn-Dixie is actually probably the highest price grocery in the area. Um, that may be true, I, I just don't know. Then we also have fairly new in the area is is the uh, Aldi. Uh, we came in. Our first contact with Aldi was when we lived in the United Kingdom. There are sister stores in in the UK. One is called Aldi, and the other is called Little L I D L, and they're almost identical. The way they look inside, their policies, uh, just everything about them. I think they're owned by brothers or cousins or something, uh, relatives that own each each uh, brand name, Aldi or Little. And I want to say they're German. And what I like about them is that. Um, their prices on produce, um, just a lot of stuff is so inexpensive. It's just amazing how cheap. I mean, like if you buy a, a box of, let's say a, a box of uh, crackers, you know, like Ritz 
or something like Ritz crackers or uh, toasted or something like that, well, you, you're going to pay four to five dollars for a box of crackers to put like chicken salad or spread or you know hummus or something on. But if you go to go to Aldi, it, it'll be a dollar ninety-five. It'll be half the price, and so it's quite amazing. Well, I got my two jugs of water, two gallons. I bought two gallons of distilled water. I use a CPAP every night, and it, I don't know what the usage is in terms of capacity, how much water it uses every night. But anyway, uh, every couple of months I'll buy two gallons, and it'll usually last me a month. Each gallon lasts a month. I don't know, something like that. So I got that, and uh, I forgot that I needed a bag of Community Coffee Beans. Community is one of those store brands, or it's a regional brand, I suppose, that you can get in most local grocery stores from... Louisiana all the way across the Gulf Coast of Florida. I think it's made and roasted and shipped from New Orleans. I believe that's where they're based. It's pretty decent coffee for seven, eight bucks a bag, 12 ounce bag. Uh, I'm kind of a coffee snob and <laughs> I mean, it passes the test for me. I get the breakfast blend. It's a medium roast and I tend to go a little bit lighter on the number of grams of coffee that I grind for a, say a 20 ounce travel mug. Um, but I've learned to adjust it so that I like it just fine. It's not too strong. If I use the same amount of beans for a cup of coffee that I would use say with a light roast, uh, 
light roast, I can use 18 to 20 grams per cup of coffee. For those of you that don't know, I use the uh, Hario V60 uh, pour over method. And so I'll make one cup every morning. And then sometimes, some mornings, I'll have two. <laughs> Maybe every other day or every third day, I'll have two cups in the morning. I don't know. It's just kind of how I, based on how I feel. Um, and what I'm doing and whether I want a second cup to savor. I typically take an hour to drink a cup. So I've got a nice, you know, insulated travel mug to keep it hot for that long. But then I also subscribe to a, a coffee subscription service. It's called Bottomless Coffee. And I've really enjoyed it. I've been a member now for about three months, maybe four months. You pay $7.99 a month for the, for the actual monthly subscription fee. Now for that fee, you don't get anything. You don't get any coffee. You just get the ability to access all of the coffee roasters that are currently on their program. And I want to, I don't know, I want to say there's a hundred, you know, 80 to a hundred roasters there. And they're from all over the country, from South Dakota to California to the North Pacific Northwest, Virginia, Tennessee, Kentucky. I mean, they're everywhere. And the reason I choose to go with a subscription service like that is because it is extremely difficult to find light roast coffee anywhere, much less light roast coffee beans. We have a local roaster here in town. I won't mention the name of it, but they do a light roast or maybe two. But they're 20 bucks for, for a 20, uh, a 12 ounce bag, $20. And to me, I find that expensive, especially as I just mentioned, I just picked up a bag at full retail price at Winn-Dixie. I picked up a bag of community breakfast blend coffee beans for $7.99, no tax. So I really don't want to pay $20 for a bag of beans just to get a light roast. However, this subscription service has been really good. Um, I can get a 12 ounce bag at most of the roasters. I can get a one pound bag or I can get a five pound bag. And I can tell them not only what roast level I want, but I can um, specify the grind. If I want them to grind it, I can say, I use the pour over method. I want a coarse grind for that. Or I make espresso and I need a really fine espresso grind. And they can usually accommodate you. I always get the beans. I decided to recently, maybe two months ago, invest in a really good hand grinder. I don't mind grinding my beans by hand every morning because I only make one cup. And, you know, 16 to 18 ounces of coffee beans is not very much to grind. The little hopper in this hand grinder holds 30 grams. But anyway, um, it's called a Kin Grinder, K-I-N Grinder. It's all shoved together, one word, Kin Grinder. And I believe it's either from Japan or Korea, not sure on the, the origins of the thing. Okay, I'm back home now. Pulling in. But anyway, I got the Ken grinder uh, for probably the last two years, I've had uh, a hand grinder made by a company called Java Press. 
and press has an E on the end of it, Java press, all one word. Um, and the thing is thin and it's slippery. And if you've ever bought light roast coffee beans and tried grinding them, they are very tough compared to say a medium to dark roast. They're very brittle because they've been cooked longer, roasted longer. The light roast tends to be a little bit leathery and woody on the outside and very hard on hand grinders. So my Java press just couldn't handle a light roast coffee bean. I'd have to figure out some way to hold it. It, it was impossible. It was slick aluminum, brushed, brushed uh, or not aluminum, brushed stainless steel, very thin material. The Ken grinder that I've purchased from uh, Amazon, it is like a tank, built like a tank. I love it. Uh, it does a great job and it doesn't take many revolutions to go through 15, 16, 17 uh, grams of coffee. Anyway, I'm going to stop right here. Bye for now.